Now, on the last debate stage in Detroit, you said that wasn't true when Senator Harris brought that up. There was a, a fact check of that, and they said that was true. Uh, you know, I grew up with a grandmother who had type 2 diabetes, and I watched her condition get worse and worse. Uh, but that whole time, she had Medicare. Uh, I want every single American family to have a strong Medicare plan available. If they choose to hold on to strong, solid private health insurance, I believe they should be able to do that. But the difference between what I support and what you support, Vice President Biden, is that you require them to opt in. And I would not require them to opt in. They would automatically be enrolled. They wouldn't have to buy in. That's a big difference because Barack Obama's vision was not to leave 10 million people uncovered. He wanted every single person in this country covered. My plan would do that. Your plan would they not. They do not have to buy in. They do not have to buy in. You just said that. You just said that two minutes ago. You just said two minutes ago that they would have to buy in. You said they would have to buy in. to buy in. If she qualifies for Are you forgetting what you said two minutes ago? Are you forgetting already what you said just two minutes ago? I mean, I can't believe that you said two minutes ago that they had to buy in, and now you're saying they don't have to buy You're forgetting that. said anyone with your grandmother who has no money. You're automatically enrolled. Enrolls people regardless of whether they choose to opt in or not. If you lose your job, for instance, his his health care plan would not automatically enroll you. You would have to opt in. My health care plan would. That's a big difference. 